custom. We had to wrap his body up. We had to bury him. Where? In the sea. That's, that's where Leviathan is. Okay? The, the Leviathan that was wounded in the head, that's, that's where he is right now. The beast is going to rise up out of the sea. Take a look at the scriptures. Exodus chapter 10, verse 19. The Lord turned a mighty strong west wind and took away the, lo- the locusts and cast them where? Into the Red Sea. Did you get that? Because when we go to Revelation chapter 9 and we see all of these beasts rising up out of the pit, guess what they look like? Locusts. You know what God did with the locusts there in Egypt? He cast them into the sea, and it's the sea that they're going to be rising back out of one of these. Are you getting it? I think there's something going on here. I think, I think that we have just been taken as a world to a new level. Another step. Exodus 15, 4. Pharaoh's chariots and his host hath he cast into the sea. His chosen captains are also drowned in the Red Sea. The chariots, when you go back to Revelation 9, these locusts, guess what sound they make? Chariots. Pharaoh is one of them. And they're all cast into the sea. Same place where Osama bin Laden is. Psalm 78, verse 53. Watch this. He led them on safely so that they feared. But the sea overwhelmed their enemies. Micah chapter 7, verse 19. He will turn again. He will have compassion upon us. He will subdue our iniquities and thou wilt cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. Remember this man of sin, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, pride of life. That's what reigns over us. And God promises us that when he saves us, he takes all of our sins and all of our iniquities. And he casts them into the sea. And then we see in Daniel, what what happens? What happens with all of that? Daniel chapter 7. The man of sin is coming back up. Daniel chapter 7 verse 2. Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heaven strove upon the great sea. And four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. Then later on it says, the fourth beast. Dreadful and terrible. I think that we are being taken as a world, especially here in America, we're being taken in levels, in steps. JFK was a step. The moon landing was a step. The attempted assassination of Ronald Reagan was a step. Waco was a step. Oklahoma City was a step. 9-11 was a step. And everything that we're seeing take place, we, we have these images right in front of our very eyes. Information to us now is nearly instantaneous. I wouldn't trust all the information, but it's always there. We're being bombarded with rituals that are taking us to the next step. Now, where are we right now? I don't know. But if I were you, I wouldn't follow the course of this world, ruled over by the prince of the power of the air, the God of this world who has blinded the eyes of men. I wouldn't follow those steps because her steps, they they make you sound like they're going up. They're, They're not really. They're going down to hell. I would let the word of God direct your steps to the cross of Jesus Christ. That's where I'm going. Why don't you go with me? What's going to happen next? I don't know. But let's be watchers. Let's have our eyes open. Let's let's see the things that are going on around us and go, this is that which was spoken by the prophets. Let's use the Bible for our glasses so that we can see what's going on around us. And when the next thing happens, no matter what it is, where it is, or when it is, when the next thing happens, we're not afraid because it was already spoken in the Scriptures. And we know that God directs our steps according to His Word. 
This is Pastor Mike. I love you. God bless you. We'll see you the next time. Bye-bye.